Hey guys, welcome to vtechacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about range of a function. So in our previous videos we have discussed about functions. So here in this presentation let us learn how to find the range. Here the range of the function y is equal to f of x is the collection of all the outputs of f of x corresponding to each real numbers in domain. Now let us learn the method of finding the range. So if domain belongs to the set of the finite number of the points implies range belongs to the set of corresponding f of x values. And here if domain belongs to the real numbers or real numbers minus set of finite points then x is expressed in terms of y. Now let me explain this concept with the help of an example. So here we have the function f of x is equal to x divided by 2 minus 3x. So first in order to find the range we have to find the domain of the function. So here we have the function in the form of f of x divided by g of x and the denominator must not be equal to 0. So we have here 2 minus 3x not equal to 0. And now let us transfer minus 3x to the right hand side we get 2 not equal to 3x. And by transferring here 3 to the left hand side we get x does not belongs to 2 divided by 3. So therefore the domain of the function would be all the real numbers except 2 divided by 3. And now let us find the range of the function. So in order to find the range we have to express the x in the terms of y. So let us consider y is equal to the function f of x, x divided by 2 minus 3x. And by cross multiplying here we get y into 2 minus 3x is equal to x. Now let us multiply y to the group 2 minus 3x. We get 2y minus 3xy is equal to x. Now let us transfer minus 3xy to the right hand side. We get 2y is equal to x plus 3xy. And in the RHS side if you take x as a common factor we get 2y is equal to x into 1 plus 3y. And now let us transfer the group 1 plus 3y to the left hand side. We get the value of x as 2y divided by 1 plus 3y. So here if x is equal to 2y divided by 1 plus 3y belongs to r then, then the denominator must not be equal to 0. So we have the denominator as 1 plus 3y not equal to 0. So now let us transfer 1 to the other side we get 3y is not equal to minus 1. So let us transfer 3 to the right hand side we get y not equal to minus 1 divided by 3. So we can say that the range of the function would be all the real numbers except minus 1 by 3 as y not equal to minus 1 by 3. So this was a basic introduction on how to find the range of a function. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.